Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Yesterday I published my guide on my homebrew control shaman that I played the legend this season, and I couldn't fit this game into that guide. This is a game between control shaman and control warrior, and it is the longest game of Hearthstone that I have ever played. I guess I could try something like this. something like. Yobel, hi. The new Paladin Legendary isn't supposed to make Bellring a center battle card trigger twice, right? No, it is not supposed to make it trigger twice. It makes the secret trigger twice. Alright. What kind of warrior? Warrior kept two cards. I'm not feeling confident about this deck, but so many of you have asked me to play Control Shaman that I just had to make a Control Shaman. And I'm really scared of playing Control Shaman, to be honest. Because I, I took an extensive look at the statistics, and no one has actually made it work. <laughs> Some people had decent results three days ago. For two separate secrets earlier today. That's weird. Doomsayer is fine here. Just get rid of stuff. Even if he has the militia commander, he still can't kill it. I mean, he could shield slam the doomsayer. That sounds like such an excessive thing to do. Okay, it's an actual control. It's an actual control warrior then. All right. It's not a bomb warrior. It's a control warrior. So I must not draw cards. And then I might eventually win because I can do Archivist twice, unless he can pull Shatterwalk. But I do need to find... I do need to find the Hagatha at some point, in order to start generating some cards. Hand size with Hagatha, yeah. Which do you prefer, Control Shaman or Murloc? Murloc is obviously 100 times better. But... We're trying Control. Can I afford to draw? Because I kind of don't want to. I would like to entice him to draw. I might end up drawing a little bit after all. Let's draw a little bit here. Because he played the Acolyte on the board, so he also draws some. Also wanted to remove the armor here. Okay, casting a random spell. Fine. Too bad I can't make him draw multiple cards with the Acolyte. I would really love that. Lightning Storm does take care of this. I suppose I need to Lightning Storm. I can't find a way to make the Acolyte draw multiple cards. Which I would have liked. Don't hit into the Unseen Saboteur. Yeah, I suppose I'll kill it. I kind of don't want to play minions until I find my Hagata. I guess I'm in no hurry. Let's see. But I think this might, this game might go to turn limit. Well, turn 7 boom might mean that this game doesn't go to turn limit, because turn 7 boom gives him immense value. That's so much value. Oh dear. Maybe I need to play a minion after all. Not going well. He has had extremely good cards. He has had cards that pull stuff from my deck. He has had cards that disrupt me. He had Boom for 7, and Boom is the most valuable card in the game. It's even better than Hagata, but of course I need to find my Hagata. Okay, I don't mind some weapons projects. So much armor. I think I probably want to remove the Super Colliders later on. Nine cards in hand. There's nothing I really want to do. That's just the thing, there's nothing I want to do. I guess we can play the Swamp Queen. 
Soul of the Murloc isn't very good against the only class that has Warpath. So that's not great. Warpath deals with it so easily. Maybe I'll still take that. I don't want to draw. That was a very, very useless trust for horror, unfortunately. Very well. Well, that trust war was bad. But we'll see what happens next. That belongs in the museum. Okay, he draws. That's good, because I want him to draw. That's at least some consolation. Because I really, really needed him to draw. So many Uzis. So all of the Murloc and Wind Fury. I guess I'll go for Hex on this Harrison here. And use this one to kill that. And then I'm going to go ahead and play this. Give Wind Fury to this fellow. Uh, actually, I could of course target the Wind Fury. So I get to hit him in the face a little bit. Obviously he will kill the stuff here. And very easily. Very easily too, but we get to limit the armor count a little bit. Which may be useful. And I can always discover stuff like Bloodlusts, but I would have needed Hagatha at the time he gets his boom to maintain parity. He plays the minion that gives him 10 cards in the end. I have that minion too, and then I have Shatterbook to give me 10 cards again. So... I can play this to turn limit. It's no problem whatsoever for me to play this game to the turn limit. The problem is how can I win? Because it would be nice to win too. And not just play to the turn limit. I'm not going to run out of cards before he does. That doesn't happen. That's not a way for me to lose this game. What I need is the Hagata, so that I can have value to contest the value he gets from Boom. And that I have not found. Let's look for some spells. Not very impressive spells. Uh, Chuck might do something at some point. I don't even have any element. Well, I do have Walking Fountain. It's an elemental. Earth and Might is important. Yeah. That, that will give me value later on in this game. I have nine cards in hand. This will, of course, hit face. I'll throw them up a little bit. I don't absolutely have to play more cards. Because I want to get spells from Hagatha with these small minions if I can. That is of course annoying because it cannot be targeted. And it has Rush because he has superpowers. The Walking Fountain can take care of it, but at a fairly large cost. But I have to because it's untargetable. I hate it when that happens. So this will go down to 4 health and then he can easily kill it. Ah. Ah, indeed. I don't have an alternative way to kill it. If he gets to magnetize Ciliax on it, yeah, I have to kill it. Hate it when that happens, but I have to. Because I can't let him magnetize something like Ciliax on that preliminary fire. But he's going to get so much value later on from the Omega assemblies. It will be difficult for me to contest. I also have not found any Hagata schemes, so I have no Hagata schemes growing. Because I would need to have some of those schemes up here growing. Now, if he pulls the Shudder Rock, that's a problem. Pulling that one is not so much of a problem. It just reduces the value. But I can't find Hagata, and he found Boom for turn 7. So that is the fundamental problem in this game right now. I don't have anything useful here. I need to just throw away the coin. Let's see. 
Yeah, tournaments have already taken like 17 hours to complete. They are a complete mess. Yeah. Ultimately, I needed to draw the schemes and I needed to draw the Hagata. He wanted to draw basically just boom. And of course, if he can get these that makes his stuff untargetable, that's incredibly strong. And he got already two of them randomly. But that's pretty powerful. I have nothing that I can do about that. Because I can't target it. And it's a 616. And I didn't find a scheme, so... I mean, I can never just kill this Hecklebot, right? He can just magnetize more stuff onto it and win with that alone. Do I have any outs? I mean, I can't deal 16 damage, I just can't. It's not possible. No Hagata. No schemes growing, so I don't have any AoE damage coming. Something like this, but... This obviously isn't working. How long can I simply heal up? Well, I can heal a little bit with Cheese Brew. But I can only deal 8 with the Fountain. And if he magnetizes Ziliax onto this, then he... Then it becomes so big that it kills the Fountain in one hit as well. That's pretty tough. It's going to keep hitting me in the face. Can't target that. I have to kill just that one. What can I find? Putting that to 12. No, it doesn't help me. No, it doesn't look like I have any outs. I can only remove one super collider. They usually don't run two super colliders nowadays though. Well, that's a little bit of consolation. I mean, that's 20 healing from Witch's Brew eventually, but... Now there's my Hagata. That's a piece of good news. But I need to use it already, right? Yeah, I need to use it already. With the cards in hand, I can play this, this four tree slurper. But he will have the trees, microbots that will kill it. So it doesn't actually get to hit into the heckle, but I probably need to play it anyway. Nine cards in hand at the moment. Okay, okay. Nine cards. Okay, he gets more random mechs. The real problem is if he finds anything that he can more that he can magnetize onto the heckle, but that's the major problem. And I of course haven't found any Hagata schemes yet. So I can deal between four and six damage to the heckle, but which probably isn't enough, right? Oh, we're going to tr give it a try. Let me do the double lightning storm here. Let we get rid of these minions. The heck, I'll put down to six. But that's not enough. Plus one attack and rush. Lucky, actually. That will, that will do. So, plus one attack and rush, with the lucky. Like this. 
And then this one can hit in, and I can finally hit into that. So I get rid of the untargetable. And then I can play Ooze to remove the Super Collider. And I will have 9 cards in hand. Okay, I have 9 cards in hand, I'm still alive. I'm obviously very overloaded next turn. Six mana available. And the turn after I would have the walking fountain available. So this turn it's going to be Zilliax, right? Fork lightning deal two damage to random and a minions overload for another two. Can I afford to overload for another two this turn? I believe I can, yes. So I will play the forked lightning. I will play the Ziliax. And Ziliax will kill that one and heal me up a little bit. Fine. Nine cards in hand, but I'm still alive. Okay. Is there any chance of winning here? Yes. Now there is a chance of winning when I got rid of the Beryllium Nullifier. If he had more Beryllium Nullifiers, then, then maybe not. But with the nullifier deck, there is a chance to win, yes. Summon a copy of a random minion from your hand. Well, I have some good minions, some bad minions. Four cards in my deck, five cards in his deck. I mean, I can just... I can do four, four times with Cheers Brew. I can heal for 16. That's appropriate. I'll just kill that one. And then I'll just do with Cheers Brew. So I get to 29, 9 cards in hand. I have double Elysiana, I am never going to fatigue. I can go all the way to turn limit without fatigue. Can he go all the way to turn limit without fatigue? I don't know if he has a bounce for the Elysiana, because many of the decks have cut the bounce for the Elysiana, because they don't think they need it. That's one way to win. Another way to win is that I get good Elysiana cards and he gets bad Elysiana cards. And then I just win. But double Elysiana will allow us to play to the third limit. So he can afford to draw a little bit. But now my hand is full and I need to do something. Is it just the Mossy Horror time? I think it might just be time to play the Mossy Horror. Get rid of that one from hand now. get the Stormbringer. Well, I probably won't have the minions though. I can do this with Shilaki on the Mossy Horror. Not a very powerful transformation effect. I can give the with Shilaki taunt. So I get down to nine cards again. All right. I can worry about St. Lysiana, Brewmaster and Baleful Banker. He generates a bomb. Which I don't mind too much, I suppose. Menacing Nimbus, but I would need to make some room in my hand to play that Menacing Nimbus. So I can start by playing the Lightning Storm, I believe. Lightning Storm sounds fine. Start with the Lightning Storm. We carry on with a little bit of zapping over there. Get rid of a couple of these spells. Then the Menacing Nimbus. I even get a Box Slusher. Nine cards in hand. But if I play the Box Slusher and return the Menacing Nimbus to my hand, 
then I'm, I'm going to 10 cards in hand. So yeah, hand size management can be difficult at times. On the other hand, that will just mean that I burn uh, the bomb up. Actually, don't even mind. I don't even mind if I go to 10 cards. Mm, I might I might keep it nine cards if I can though. Maybe it does not matter if I draw the bomb. Get a couple of things out there. He wants to get rid of some of his cards, which is cool. Make some space to get some more mechs on in his hand. Grace another bomb. Well, maybe I should have kept my hand full then. If he wants to make that many bombs. Well, now there's two bombs that are hex in my deck. But now I'm overloaded, so I can't play Delisiana. He might have something to magnetize on these. I'm taking six from those. That's still less than ten from the bombs. And there's no reason for me to do anything here. This is fine. He will play the Elysiana now, and he will bounce it, if he has a bounce effect, which we will get to see shortly. And I probably use the next turn to kill off this board, and then the turn after that I'm going to play my Elysiana. That's what it looks like at the moment. Too bad that he can challenge me quite a bit here. So he filled his deck, he did have a bounce effect, then this game is going to take long. And I only burnt one bomb, well, sometimes happens, so I may end up taking 5 damage next turn. I should be able to survive that, it should be okay, we'll see. So much depends now on the random mechs that he has. He has a couple of random mechs in hand. And of course, what did he find from the Elysiana? So I need to play the Elysiana next turn myself. If he gets a lot of pressure going, that could be a problem. Oh, I didn't even draw the bomb. That was excellent. That was excellent news. So then I'm playing my Elysiana. Alright. And I want... Ooh, discover a spell. Yeah, I can take discover a spell. Frostwolf Warlord. Or a Rusher with overkill effect. We'll take the Rusher. Brewmaster probably is not. Sunry War Mage can be useful. I don't want to draw, but Microtech Controller can be good. Bulldozer? Stampeding Kodo? I guess Bulldozer. Nine cards in hand, so then I will I will kill the Murloc now. I suppose. And I can make this one a taunt minion, although obviously he's just going to use a shield slam to kill it. So now my Shatterwook is loaded, but I still need to heal up. So he just picked up all sorts of charge minions. And that can be difficult. I'm down to 6 health. And this one will draw more charge minions for him. Inconvenient. He has no more shield slams left. I got the scheme doesn't quite kill all of this stuff. But I am down to 6 health. Hmm. I mean I could heal up for 8 with the walking fountain. Then I can't do anything else this turn. And he will still have the 5-5 five, five on the board. 
There's also the option to just hex this and hack at the skin, but then if he draws the if he draws both of the chargers, that might be lethal. I think I need to play the fountain. Oh that's a good one. So I'll hit here. Actually I will just play this on this one, then I will double hit there. Come on, come on, resummon already. No. The animations. The animations are my nemesis. Just found the random spell, so I obviously... I had a board clear there, but I didn't have time. Well, this is still good. This still gives me healing. Although the execute, of course, means that I missed out on a little bit of healing. Oh, Dragon Roar gives him some dragons. That can be scary. So, down to 14. Very well. I mean, Alakir could handle this board. I think I need to handle the board with the Alakir here. Six. Or do I go with the Stormbringer this turn? Just a little bit concerned about the dam incoming damage. Because eventually I will have to use my Shudder Walk to heal up. He gets the full force from the Bronze Herald. I suppose I need to use the Alak here. I suppose I need to use the Alak here and clean up this board. So he has the two four fours, then he has one random dragon. My Hagatha scheme deals six at the moment. Oh, he has a pair of Dariuses as well from the Archivist. Very well, very well. Oh, and Lepanomes. He got a lot of damage. He got charge minions and leper gnomes and all sorts of stuff oh that's awkward because there's a lot of damage coming in there's still another wolf rider and there's five seven eight nine damage coming in from all these minions alone and then there's still another four four and a random dragon overloading myself with rain of toads feels a little bit bad but can he really push through he has spent both war paths he shouldn't really be able to push through the Reign of Toads. Then I can hack at the scheme the turn after. Another Reign of Toads. Let's just play Reign of Toads here. Together with the Microtech controller, maybe. Let's try this approach. Big Bad Voodoo. Down to 4. I mean, on the board he can kill the toads. Now even better. Now he can also push forward to the face. If he wants. He pushes three to the face. Okay, that zap cannon is actually really dangerous now. All that additional bonus damage that he's gaining here. Scary stuff. But I can't use the Shudder Rock yet. So I don't know how I can survive this. I need to find more healing. I think I have the Big Bad Voodoo one of these. And then I need to play the scheme. Just so that I will have a minion on the board. But down to 9 and he has... He has Leper Gnome, Wolf Rider and Murloc. Five, that's 7 damage total. I mean everything is always going face. He has no reason to hit anything but face. Whereas I would need to be able to... I would need to be able to heal. I would need to get a healing spell. I find a healing spell. That's excellent. So I could use this healing spell. I could also do like Rain of Toads, then heal up 8 with the Witch's Brew. That would leave him with 
the Blue Gill Warrior on the board. Of course he has Sprawls left. I'll do the Toads. But I'll heal up 8. I think healing up 8 should be enough. Go to 15. I have soon exhausted the first set that he had. But there will be another set later. And he get, also gets some mechs that he can discover. He has one more random dragon in hand. He also gets another dragon roar, so he gets another random dragon. And that's an excellent mech to get. I'll be barely able to deal with that one. Well, Sun River War Mage could kill it. Sightless Ranger could kill it. Ranger is actually pretty decent this turn. We'll go in with the Ranger. And we kill this. Eight cards in hand. This one's going face now. Okay. Eight cards in hand, four in deck. I think we're going to go for the turn limit. He found a 7-9. That has rush. So he can push three to my face. Alright. Slightly inconvenient, maybe. He also gets those micro squads for next turn. I suppose it is Sun River War Mage time. In two copies. Three cards left in the deck. I do want to deal with the Boom Reaver. I mean, I could also just Frost Shock it. And I guess we go with these. Do I want to trade into that? Make a couple pair of new bats. Because that is an option. Another Stormbringer. Oh boy. Lots of Stormbringer in here. Nine cards in hand. I can use this one to kill that, right? Yeah, that will give me the overkill effect. So I get a bit of a fuller board here. He has that one random dragon. Okay, now he has three random dragons. Did he get a Scorcher? He did get a Scorcher. That is excellent for him, because obviously Scorcher is the best random dragon he could get in this position. And he managed to pick it up. Great for him. Just phenomenal. Being at 12 is rough. I probably need to go with the Stormbringer this turn. This one can't really kill me yet. Perplexing. Let's see what else he has. Okay. This one's hitting face. And then we'll go with the Stormbringer. Alright. We got some we got some minions on the board. That's nice. He probably still keeps with the face plan. He shouldn't have 12 damage. So I should be safe here. And have some time to play my Shudder Walk and get some healing going. He wins the brawl. That's, in re that's really inconvenient that he managed to win that brawl. Because that means that he can push more damage. That was not, not what I wanted at all. I suppose this will force the Shudder Walk. I won't get any card value from it. My hand is full anyway. Well, that was many, many unfortunate things have happened in this game. That's for sure. I guess we go with Shadow Walk and see what happens. I mean, the Hagata Battle Cry is going to destroy everything.
is their target for this snow. It's pretty sad that I ended up using this. I did not want to use this already. Now this puts me at a disadvantage. Yeah, I guess I could have used the Frost Shock, but... Not very strong. He's going to play his Elysiana, of course. But isn't this just going to go to the turn limit, and then it's going to be a draw? His Elysiana might be better than mine. And he still hasn't succeeded in killing me. So that's something. Now we're going to freeze that one. And play a Bulldozer. I do get another Witch's Brew. That can be useful. Depends on what he finds able to find this time. He still has a couple of random dragons in hand. He has one more brawl left. Oh, he needs to pick up a war path. Does he run two executes in that deck? Because I've already seen one execute. He actually runs two executes. I think that was a pretty big surprise. I haven't seen double execute lists for a while. This probably means that I will need to hex the Elysiana. To prevent damage from that. And then I can play a Water Elemental. Let's play a Water Elemental. I find a Zap. I don't have to spend it this turn. So he has Warpath from his new Elysiana. He has still some random dragons left. Yeah, I think we're waiting. Let's see what happens next. It's there, okay. I go down to 10. 3, 7, poison. Oh no, shuffles another bomb into my deck. That's inconvenient. So... I mean, I could hex the Carrion Drake, but then there's still another... There will still be another dragon in hand. I could heal up... Hmm. Just don't really want to hex this, but I'm not sure if I have an alternative. Maybe I do need to hex it. So I need to play the Unbound Elemental first. And I get some Feral Spirits, nice. Then I'm going to tap this. And trade away the mech. And then I'll Hex that. And then I'll play some Feral Spirits. He might respond with the final a Brawl. Because that one card that he has remaining is a Brawl. Of his original deck, that is. Then there's one random dragon. Well, Warpath can also do it. Yeah. Warpath, top deck. Wasn't even a top deck, it was from previous turn. And then he roll power. Yeah, that did pretty well. And my Law Walker Cho is not a very effective card. And Eureka can now summon Law Walker Cho on the board. If it summons Law Walker Cho, does that just mean that I will lose? Brawl Random Dragon. And I have 66% to get something else. I think we'll give it a try. I mean, it cannot be Law Walker Cho every time, right? Let's see. You might actually lose this. I might. There's still another seven turns to go. Oh, he managed to double up his dragons. But I do have 20 healing from the Witch's Brew. I 
which I unfortunately think I have to use here. He might, yeah, win with the dragons. There's a bunch of dragons left. Those might be too much. But if I play the bulldozer this turn, I trade this and I play the bulldozer. These are 4 damage. Does he have another 3 damage? He could have another 3 damage. I would have to take a little bit of risk here. I think I have to take a bit of a chance here. He might win now if he has 3 from hand. I could have used it. No, I didn't want to use the zap. Okay, he gets 4 dragons. His Elysian has been on point. He keeps pushing face with everything he's got. I probably have to heal this turn. I think healing this turn will be necessary. But those four dragons might be enough to kill me. Oh yeah, there is a chance that I can lose. Yeah, I know, I have bomb in my deck. I felt like I needed to take a chance, because if he gets to play a dragon that's uncontested, it might just get to my face every turn thereafter. I might never be able to get rid of it. I felt like that was necessary. Because now he has, he has three dragons in hand. Four dragons in hand. And those dragons just might be enough to win the game for him. I'm basically playing for a draw here. I don't have a real chance to win anymore. But we play for the draw. I mean, I'm not going to let him win just because he has an advantage. Hmm, Stigatron. Nice. Bomb goes off. Down to 16. I might lose this in fatigue. It is possible. He still has a brawl left. Probably need to freeze this. Kill it off. Use this one to trade. So, the, but the dragons, the dragons are a problem. I must decide a path dimly lit. I suppose Walker will do here. Totemic might. Not a very useful spell. Let's do this. So that card is a brawl. Then he has four copies of the same dragon. Then he has another Stegotron. Oh, he also got a mountain giant. Well, that's pretty sweet. He definitely got some value, Elysiana cards. Well, let's discover a spell. Those spells are not what I wanted. Let's discover another spell. Which is brew might be acceptable. Or just rock by the weapon. Just rock by the weapon, yeah. Then we're going with the rock by the weapon on this one. So that it can trade away the mountain giant. I can play another dark scale healer. Oh, I could also give my dark scale healer Wind Fury here. I suppose that's okay. Let's give it Wind Fury. It's not like it actually does anything with that Wind Fury, but let's do it. How many more turns do I have to survive? Is it two more turns? I can't remember when that turn limit is achieved. Oh, he picked up the second warpath now. Hmm. 
So then his board will be uncontested and he might be able to kill me in a couple of turns. Hmm. What can you do? He still has a brawl left. He still has a brawl left. He has Mountain Giant and Stegotron. And he has random four dragons. Four dragons, Mountain Giant and Stegotron. Okay. Yeah, he had a lot more value than I did. Going into this. We'll see. Hi, <laughs> Doctor. How long has this game gone? Pretty long. Maybe. I suppose I'm playing the Feral Spirits out there. And I probably need to turn them into random legendary minions. I think this is the only, only chance I have. Well, he's just going to play the Brawl now. Because I got some good legendary minions. So, here comes the final Brawl. And after this, unfortunately, I don't have any tools left, so... When was this game going to end again? I will need the random spells. Alright. Does it end already? How many more turns can there be? I mean, we're pretty deep into this game. How many more turns can there be? This will give him some strong Stormbringers too. What do I get? Okay. Shouldn't the game end already? I mean... What is the turn limit? That was now turn 44. I can't remember. Isn't this the end just about here? Yes, that would be the end. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.